Hello there, we have breaking news from Volition Veterinary. I'm joined from the USA by the CEO, Dr. Tom Butera. Tom, great to see you again. And uh, we're hearing that not only have you been very busy, but part of the reason for that is you've got a deal to announce today. Bring us up to date. Yeah, great to see you, Nick. Uh, yes, it's been exciting times. We do have a new deal to announce. Um, we are signing a licensing agreement and supply agreement with Sage Healthcare with our first new QVET cancer screening test and Sage Healthcare is located in Singapore. Very exciting. Well, Tom, that all sounds like great news, but I'd like a little bit more detail about the strategy behind this particular announcement. Well, let me give you a little reminder, Nick. You know, our, our strategy really is to, is to provide our new QVET cancer screening test on a worldwide basis. And we want to cover a lot of markets. So consequently, as I said in our third quarter earnings, we were in the process of negotiating deals with multinational companies, and we are continuing to do that. And those, those discussions are going very well. With reference to appointing Sage, who is a well-respected distributor of veterinary brands in Asia, we are really looking forward to launching the new QVET cancer screening test in Singapore in the first quarter and view this as a huge opportunity for us as an entry into the other Asian countries. We're delighted with having the Sage on board as our first supply and distributing agreement and looking forward to the other multinationals coming on board as well in the first quarter of 2022. And as you've said, this is significant because Asia is such a growth area for companion animal or pet ownership. You've also got areas like China with economies of scale, if, if they come on stream, which they probably will. So this is a very significant deal. Absolutely, Nick. And, you know, there's a tremendous cocktail between the rising disposable income as well as the continued urbanization that's going on in Asia. I mean, if you didn't know this already, Nick, over half the Asian population owns pet companion animals and a third of them own dogs. So it's a huge opportunity for us. So exciting times in Asia, as you've suggested, it's going to be announcements in 2022 on a, a broader geographic scale. Tom, always great to talk to you. Thanks very much for joining us today. Absolutely, Nick. And we're progressing well and looking forward to an exciting 2022.